Something is already happening. Yes. Any power that wants to dead is that power that should die. Thank you, Jesus. This is December. A month for serious praying. We're going to start the no carry over prayers now. And make sure that you are the most aggressive here. Don't worry about the wordings of the prayer. Just pray like a man or woman that is not ready to take no for an answer. Every food that I have eaten that have sold me to captivity blood of Jesus destroy them in the name of Jesus yes in Jesus name we pray it will be dangerous to keep quiet. To be dangerous not to pay attention. Concentrate. Powers! Dragging my blessings back to the coven. A person receives a blessing, the power is dragging it back again. Power! Dragging my blessings back to their covens. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. Yes. 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 You must be released. You must be released from their grip. Jesus name we pray. Shout this with hatred. Say affliction and hardship running after my family. Can you shout it loud? Your time is up. Jesus. Don't negotiate. This is not a money to negotiate. Jesus name we pray. That sister over there. Hear the word of the Lord. The powers that have been calling your name from the grave. Departing from your head now. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. Ben. Let her go. A feeling. Every spirit of your grandmother. Bo boy, me, ya, ya, that is repeating evil history in your life. Fire is in coming upon you. Palio. Say witchcraft. Fingers. 
resting upon my body to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, open that mouth. That's why you are here. This is no carry over prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Pray these strange prayers loud and clear. Oh God, arise and over my enemies to their own enemies. Can you shout it loud? Aha! Somebody should shout it loud! Your voice is not loud enough. But put it in the name of Jesus. Hand them over to their own enemies. Louder, 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 louder. Okay. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Destiny exchangers. My life is not your candidate. Can you say it loud? Can I hear the sisters shouting this loud? Can I hear the brothers shouting this? Can I hear everybody shouting it? In the name of Jesus. Say, say. In Jesus' name we pray. This particular prayer should be prayed three times. Nobody should joke with it. Please, nobody should joke with it. Powers! Seeking for my blood. Drink your own blood and die. Can I hear the sister shouting this? There is a sister that needs to shout this louder. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Something is up over there. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. We are not here for negotiation. We are here for the no carry over prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number two. I want you to be more aggressive. Open your mouth and pray. Louder, 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 louder. Drink your own blood and die. I am not your candidate. In Jesus' name we pray. This is the third time. Open your mouth and pray. In 
Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person, within the next last few days, a voice has been sounding from inside of you that you will die. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. The voice has been speaking to your ears from inside of you. Find a way to this altar. Pray like a man or woman from another world. Pray very well. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? I fire back every arrow of death and hell in the name of Jesus. Open them out, open them out, open them out, open them out, open them out. In Jesus' name we pray. Battles! I sign to waste my life. Jesus name we pray power sir. introducing my destiny to wasters powers power. introducing my destiny to wasters be wasted in the name of Jesus Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers are appointed to scatter my journey. Can you say it loud? Shout his life. Oh, God, arise. Kill them now. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Ben. In Jesus' name we pray. Note that this is no carry over prayer meeting. This is why this next prayer should be prayed with violence and with fire. Arrows of miracle miscarriage. Can you shout it loud? 
I am not your candidate. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Arrows of miracle miscarriage. I'm not your candidate. Backfire, backfire, backfire. Open your mouth, command it to backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer. Adura, Tokoni. We are praying it three times again. Please, I plead with you. Let your voice be the loudest. Here. If you can see here the voice of the next person that you are not praying. Here. Powers. Begging which doctors. Powers. Begging marine powers. Against my life. Can I hear you shouting it like? Yes. In the name of Jesus. Open that mouth, open that mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Enough is enough. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. Yes. Yes, yes. Jesus name we pray this is the third time open your mouth and pray aha 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 makatori bakaya boshanda in Jesus name we pray if you are that person here you have done something with a coffin before when you were an unbeliever either you carried a coffin or you entered into a coffin find a way quickly to this altar right now this next prayer don't negotiate don't be kind at all. Pray it with merciless violence. We are going to pray three times again. Power! Killing animals to kill me. Can you shout it loud? Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray it again. name we pray. This is the third time open your mouth and pray. Yes. Yes, yes. In Jesus name we pray. 
Before you sit down, say end of the year battles. You shall not locate me and my family. Can I hear you say that? Your voice is not loud enough. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Please don't say anything. Don't even say amen. Father. Baba. We are gathered here. Your word says, oppression shall be far from your people. Your word says, no weapon that is formed against your children shall prosper. Your word says, every tree the father has not planted shall be rooted up and thrown into the fire. Those who are here this morning as one problem is going another problem is coming. Right there where you are the spirit responsible for it I bind it and I cast it out. Now. As the first person. Jesus. Yes. Father. Baba. Anyone here this morning. And it's always a battle to get anything done. Struggling and struggling to get something positive done. The demon of hardship program into your body. I command it to go. 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 In the name of Jesus. You cannot hide. Oh, le sakamo. You cannot hide. Oh, le sakamo. Masika tenda. You that person over there. It won't turn bela wuye. The power that is always making them to push you to the back. Ah, wa kura tonte ko maso di. Push you to the back. When you are actually meant for the front. I separate you from that power. 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 In the name of Jesus. Silence. Woman, the stubborn spirit husband that has, that has taken over your womb, the deposit of darkness that he has been putting in that womb is on fire. It's 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 on fire. Push them out. Push them out. It's on fire. You can't hide. You, you cannot enter into next year. You must go. The evil hands laid on the heads of your children. Fire! Burning them to ashes.
Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. You have been hiding for years. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. You have made a mistake. By following her here. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. Remove your properties. Your property from the waters. Your property from the sea. Remove it. In the name of Jesus. There are three persons in the gallery. The rope tying your waist to the covens is on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. That's the first person. Person is on the gallery. That waist is on fire. These familiar faces that are harassing your dream, you shall see them no more. Father, I'm praying for this person over there the python and the serpent that is your ancestral spirit that has been swallowing your benefits and harassing your life I command them to depart from your life now you serpent, come on. Let her go. Let him go. 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 In the name of Jesus. When I say all your blessing that is still in January, you will shout with the loudest voice. I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Please let your voice be the loudest here. I decree upon you all your blessings that are still left in January. I recover them by fire in the name of Jesus. Can you shout out loud? February! March! April! sit for a few minutes god bless you and let's take our bibles as we open to the book of deuteronomy deuteronomy chapter one i read from verse 40 12 battles you must not fight. Twelve battles. You must not fight. Deuteronomy. Chapter 1. I read from verse 40. Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 40 
But as for you, turn you and take your journey into wilderness by the way of the Red Sea. Then he answered and said unto me, We have sinned against the Lord. We will go up and fight according to all that the Lord our God commanded us. God had asked them to fight before they did not fight. And when he had gathered on every man his weapons of war, you were ready to go up onto the hill. And the Lord said unto me, Say unto them, Go not up, neither fight, neither fight, neither fight, for I am not among you, lest ye be smitten before your enemy. So I speak unto you. And you will not hear. But rebel against the commandment of the Lord. And went presumptuously up onto the hill. And the Amorites, which dwelt in the mountain, came out against you and chased you as bees do and destroyed you in Seir, even unto Homa. And ye returned and wept before the Lord. But the Lord will not hearken to your voice. Now give ear unto you. So ye abode in Kadesh many days, according unto the days that ye abode there. The twelve battles you must not fight. Our God is a man of war, no doubt. Our God is a God of battles. In fact, he said, you shall keep your peace and I will fight for you. But there are battles God does not want us to fight. There are battles God will not fight for us. To fight that kind of battle is to suffer disgraceful defeat. It is a tragedy to run the race God did not ask you to run. It's a tragedy to fight the battles God did not ask you to fight. Beloved, try and know the limits that God has defined for you. There are battles God will not go out with you to fight. And in that kind of battle, you have to respect God's opinion. When those times come, Paul and Silas, in Acts 16, they were ready to go and preach the gospel in Asia. But the Holy Spirit said, No. Don't go. Supposing those men had refused the voice of the Holy Ghost and went ahead to preach. After all, what they wanted to do is good. But a good idea is not necessarily a God idea. Supposing they refuse to listen to the Holy Ghost. So we're working for God. We must go. They may have died in active service before their time. They will have died while fighting for God without God. There are battles God does not fight with us. No matter how favored and how anointed we are. It is possible for you to buy poison and relabel it 
a soft drink. It is possible for a man to pick up a serpent from a bush and program the serpent into your own life. It's possible to be digging your grave and hiding the spade. It's possible for you to buy the ticket taking you to nowhere. You buy a ticket taking you to, into a journey of nowhere. Unfortunately, it is possible to set battle in a ray against yourself. It is possible to hire a lawyer against yourself. It is possible for you to vote your destiny out of power. What I've described to you is sad, but it's happening. You can manufacture weapons and begin to use the weapon to fight yourself. What? kind of battles should you not fight? The battles you must not fight. Number one, the battle against the Holy Ghost. The battle against the Holy Ghost. You can win all battles. You can resist any enemy. But don't fight the Holy Ghost. If the Holy Ghost says sit down, sit down. He says keep quiet, you keep quiet. Don't talk, don't talk. Sometimes I will face some people and say, do you have to talk? Do you really have to talk? Keep your mouth shut. Do you need to talk? They are, they are insulting me. Tell me where they are pasting the insults on your body. When the Holy Spirit says, keep quiet, you keep quiet. The day the Holy Ghost gives up on you, you are finished. Are you fighting the Holy Spirit? You will not win. Are you fighting the Holy Spirit? I hope not. If you are, you better repent. Let the Holy Spirit beat you. Let him slap you. Let him throw you on the ground. It is for your own good. Do not fight against the Spirit of God. That's number one battle you must not fight. No, but two battles you must not fight. Do not battle against the word of God. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Cutting into the dividing asunder of flesh and bone marrow. And it's a designer of the thoughts and intents of the heart. He said he has exalted his word above his name. Listen. The words of God will not adjust itself to fit your own lifestyle. You are the one who will adjust yourself to fit it. Somebody told the great British preacher Look, this person is this person is attacking the Bible. Defend the Bible. Me? Defend the Bible. Defend the Bible. Say, you can't defend the lion. The, the Bible will defend itself. If you run ahead of the Bible, you must reverse. If you are trailing behind the Bible, you must catch it up. Fighting against very clear instruction of the word of God is like fighting the weather. 
If you are fighting the weather, the weather will kill you. So, going against clear teaching of the word of God is spiritual suicide. To go against the clear teaching of the word of God is to face the angelic firing squad. It's dangerous to fight the word of God. Are you here this morning? The word of God has been saying, don't do this. Don't do that. You are not listening. Don't commit fornication. You are not listening. Stop drinking. You are not listening. You are positioning yourself for bullets from angelic firing squad. It's a battle you can never win. He said, heaven and that will pass away. So, but an iota of my word, an atom, will not pass away unfulfilled. Are those the words you want to contest? Are those the words you talk against anyhow? Be careful. The third battle you should not fight is biting the fingers that have fed you. If you bite the fingers that have fed you, you are actually fighting God. It is madness to throw stones into the wall river from which you drank water before. It's madness to throw stones into the well from which you drank before. Because you might never tell. You may have to go back to that well again. But by that time you have thrown so many rubbish into the well. It becomes undrinkable for you. Some people will say, which, could, which second is good did you go to? So I won't tell you. Which primary is good did you go to? So I won't tell you. They are ashamed to tell you. But that school that you are ashamed to mention its name did something for you. Has someone ever done good to you in this life? Do not antagonize the person. Never. The Bible says, Whosoever repays good with evil, the evil will not depart from his house. Do not speak evil against anybody who has blessed you before, who has helped your life before. If such a person has annoyed you, it's best to keep quiet and hand the case over to God. The Bible says never repay evil for evil. It is a battle you can never win. If you are biting a finger that has fed you. Note this very well. Four. Fourth battle you can never win. Is speaking against God's anointed. No matter what any pastor, anything has done to you, just report to God and leave it there. So is God is responsible, not you. God has not given his the rod of discipline of his servants to anybody. He will personally supervise their discipline if he wants to discipline them. It was Moses that said people should not go and marry foreign wives. It's the same person who went to marry an Ethiopian woman. So what Moses did was wrong. And the people got the 
Aaron, Miriam, they gathered against Moses. Aaron, Miriam, so this is wrong. They are not supposed to do this. Yes, Moses was wrong. He was not supposed to do it. But God has not given the rod of Moses' collection into their hands. He didn't give it to them. That's why it's dangerous to say you are fighting for God. Those people thought they were fighting for God. But by the time the, by the time God appeared at the war front, He backed the Moses that they said had done something wrong. He battled against those who were talking against Moses. No member of the mountain of fire and miracles ministry should ever criticize or run down any man of God. Don't put your mouth. No member of this ministry should carry rumors about any man of God, no matter what they say the person has done. It's not your assignment, it's not your business. No member of this church should be forwarding text messages and the messages to people about something one pastor had done wrong. To do that, you are positioning yourself for divine judgment. It's a battle you cannot win. Somebody, somebody sent a message. Hey, this pastor impregnated a, a 10 year old girl, 12 year old girl. Don't forward it to anybody. Delete. This one stole money. It's not your business. They've sent it to you. Don't broadcast. Don't send it. Just delete. This is an arena where the devil is cleverly dealing with Christians who are very foolish. Members of MFM, please don't get yourself involved in criticizing any man of God at all. Just leave him to his God. You may be pitching yourself in warfare against God. Notice. Uh, all those ministers of God, they are first of all human beings. They are carrying the passport of the human race. It is not in vain that Paul said, pray for us. Pray for us. That's why you should be praying for pastors, praying for all of that. You will never hear me taking a microphone or preaching anywhere against any man of God. Even if they are preaching against me, myself. <laughs> but you will hear me talking against them. There is too much information in the word of God that to be concentrated on things like that. Are you one of those forwarding evil messages, gospels, gossip and rumors all over the place? I, I feel sorry for you. You may be pitching your war against God. He has said he's a man of God. So leave him to that God to judge him. Battle number five. Going into spiritual warfare with an unclean heart. Fighting with an unclean heart is a wrong battle. Psalm 24. Psalm 24. Verse 3. Psalm 24, verse 3. Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul into vanity, nor son deceitfully. 
if your heart is not right with God, fighting the enemy, fighting the enemy, <laughs> fighting the wrong battle. If the witchcraft in you is not dead, you are fighting, fighting, fighting witches outside. You're wasting your time. Battle number six, you should not fight. It's having zeal without wisdom and knowledge you will kill yourself because you are fighting war without wisdom and without knowledge we're going to stop here because, because of our time bow down your heads where you are and talk to the Lord yourself a father, I'm sorry if I've been fighting against you. I'm sorry if I've been fighting the battle I should not fight. Talk to the Lord yourself. Amen. Amen. Rise to your feet now. Because you are here and you are not born again. You have not surrendered the life to Jesus. You have a great opportunity now. By raising up your right hand where you are. And see what I am going to say after me. So Father, the name of Jesus, come before you now, Lord Jesus, come into my life, take control of my life, in Jesus' name, amen. And there where you are, the ushers and counselors will meet with you, or you can take our details from the screen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to pray now. Let's remain standing on our feet. I want you to pray now. And pray this from your heart. Too. This is not a day to be negotiating. And it's not the time. This is for you to play with prayers. This is December. Say, anyone cursing me, using my mother's name, anyone cursing me, using my mother's name, shut up. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like that. name we pray. Bring out your tithes and your offering for this meeting please. Father we thank you for the tithes and the offering. Good measure present falling over. Let it be the lot of your children. In Jesus name we pray. Father I thank you for your children that were brought for this service. I decree upon your life that this week shall favor you in the name of Jesus. The hand of God will arise and fight all your battles for you. All the stubborn enemies of your life shall be disgraced. Every tragedy, sorrow left in this year, it is minus you and your family. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, receive the anointing to go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory, 
thank you, Heavenly Father. Cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Shall go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let us share the grace in fellowship. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our life.